the weakness in the armor of Red Reserve has been that search and destroy historically, but yesterday's performance against Rick tells a different story. Either way, enough of us flapping our gums. Here we go into that first matchup, Gen G, Red Reserve, straight off into the hard point. Uh, and one thing I will say, everyone's talking about how, you know, Red Reserve's search and destroy has let them down. They have been consistent on this map one. They, they won both the hard points each of the series that they have played them. But just to recap, they've played twice, they've lost twice. They being Red Reserve, but getting into it on Hacienda hard point here. Joe running that sword will find a double kill and find a third as well as rated shouldn't down spacely. This is a delightful beginning for Red Reserve. Early points on the board. Joe again maintaining that pressure in the middle. The 30 second mark has been passed. Can they continue the play? Joe on top, keeping those players back out of spawns. Concussion suit doesn't manage to find a whole lot there, but it is going to slow the push again. Haggard, another thing. Making their way forward now as well. Spacey's going to be finding the kills. Zero now making that next rotation. Spacey's going to be there on the run as well. Can Zero get there first? Zero making a little bit of noise here in the water, but Havoc is not going to hear that. And Nagafen sweeps on in for the trade. And again, after, you know, the first half, point, yes, Red Reserve take away the majority of the points, but it is about this rotation. And these next couple of kills are going to be crucial. We're going to see Rated go down. The spawns do favor Gen G right now. Spawning at that back, breaking on in. The kill feed lights up red. Ban Scraps and Joe. And I want to talk about Scraps for a second. A lot of eyes on him and Major Maniac. This go to if you like. How good was Scraps yesterday? Scraps is looking like one of the finest players in the world right now, but he does have to maintain that kind of performance. It's very, very difficult to get that kind of like tier one superstar performance going. And at the moment, Genji have managed to finally find a foothold here on the Lamborghini Hill. It's basically pushing those players back from red forward. You can see them spawning bottom down. There's a, there's a fight actually taking place in the bottom of the map. Nagafen, he's the one holding down the rear. Spacely now watching the players in on top. This has been a great hold from Genji. Now starting to create a bit of a gap. Now creating that bit of a safety net for themselves to work with here. Spacely maintaining the run. Not a whole lot to be found. Hard point is still in the hands of Genji. Yeah, no streaks are in the hands of anyone. This is where you notoriously will see your lightning strike, your hellstorm, but it's been so back and forth between these two teams, so close up until now, but we are starting to see Major Maniac cause some problems. 60 seconds here down by the fences and Rated looking to tag a couple up. We'll find Nagafen. The trophy system has been enabled and Bance won't escape with his life there. The headshot comes in and Major Maniac finally taken down here. But kicking things off, Major Maniac still that high kill to death ratio, 10 of 5. Looking at the other side though, for me, one place and now is Joe, someone who is under the you know, under the shadow of some of their players sometimes, but really stepping up in the slate department here. We've seen Joe time and time again. He plays those flanks, he plays the back ends of the map, and now he's right in the faces of Gen G. And again, maybe that's adding to the sort of change here. We're seeing Gen G with a strong lead. Red looking somewhat out of sorts. This is not the same Red Reserve we saw them playing last night against Wreck. They put an incredible performance in the hard point. This is looking somewhat like last time. Only three, four points have been gained now since the last two hard points. So Gen G strong as they come. Major Maniac again, the tiny terror. The wonderful work at 12 and five about to make it 13. That's a lovely bit of a run from him. Almost has his annihilator. So far, so good here. Havoc coming on in as well. Shooting one in the back, but all he'll need is his teammates to back him up. And they have the majority of the fences there. They're breaking through here by the rock as well. Bit of a battle back and forth. Joe swimming with the fishes. He's going to climb on up. And this is absolutely chaotic here. We do see Scraps finding a double. And for me, I, I need Scraps to step it up. It's hard to kind of maintain such a high performance yesterday. A 1.51 respawn KD. But here's the annihilator. Here is that crash boost as well. This is what we want to see coming out. Major Maniac can't find anything. Scraps Ooh, though, you brought up. Scraps gets three in a row and Morx is going to be the last player if they're on the hard point. Great turn of events there from Red Reserve. Now they're back in this with a chance. 30 seconds remaining now on the hard point here by Rock. They've got to do what they can. Scraps, here comes Streaks. He did this yesterday. This was the exact kind of turning point he had against Wreck. He needs to find these kills. He finds one and that's going to get it done. Not a whole lot of Scraps. Scrap time there, not a whole lot of points, but he does have himself a lightning strike. Yeah, he does, and uh, I tell you what, if Genji knew any of that, they'll be happy with just keeping him to one. We said he needs to step it up at eight and, uh, sorry, eight and eight now, 15 and nine. Scrap certainly maybe has one here on the casters at this point, it seems, but pushing forward now, that rotation is done. We're back to the middle, we're back to the nitty gritty and down by the fountain. This is where Joe started to go off. Will it be the same or will it be the likes of Nagafen getting in the mix as well? Rated will hit the deck for now. Again, this is where we're seeing, uh, no one really go for the points. We're going for that control. We're going for, oh, you see the kills. Joe finally gets the second kill on Spacey. A little bit of a shaky shot there, but he does what he needs to do. As Red Reserve right back in this 90, plays 90 if this continues for a couple more seconds. Now we're going to see if those kill kills for control are going to come to anything. Red with the hill, red with the top deck. Can they maintain presence here? This is going to be... A real telling point. 20 seconds now left on the first hard point as that 100 point mark has been crept over. Zero. Still alive. Strong shots as he trades it out with Havoc. And again, you're not. That's enough to be worked with now. Scraps still 
pushing that back end. Ox is set up and ready to go for the next hard point. And here comes the crash. They're going to brace for impact as here comes the play from Red straight through the water. There's two of them down there. Scraps is going to get the start with a nade. Can Mox hang in there? Maniacs up on top as well. This is a strong hold already from Genji, but we've got Red Reserve just knocking at the door. Tell you what, that's a great time for the crash boost there. But three will go down. Red Reserve still lead, jumping in, jumping out, and Zero finds himself a double. And he's looking for that triple. Not going to get it here, but the, the important thing for Red Reserve, nullifying all these points that Genji worked for these spawns. You've got a Tempest available in the hands of Bants now. But Genji, oh my, Mox coming in, will hit the grab slam as well. And when all is said and done, 30 seconds are still available on this part hard point. There's actually a split spawn going down as well. Number eight will be taken down. That is Bants. And this is a bloodbath. Gen G do come out on top. And with these last 20 seconds, we're going to be heading to the fences here. And number one, one step ahead here is Naga Fem, but he's going to be taken down. Oh, Joe has just taken Morks out there. Killjoy there as he managed to take care from just before getting any more streaks out of that one. He was very, very close to the Hellstorm. Influential plays. Now, as we go to the next hard point, tying this ever closer. Red have finally managed to get the lead. Can they hold on? This was the last hard point here. By fences was great for Gen G. Can they find it as we roll over in the next one? Havoc. Hoping to find something big here on the flank. Does manage to take care of scraps there. And Rated was almost next in, but again, a little too strong. Holds on there. That's 45 seconds now on the clock. Can we see Gen G get back in this? Well, you hear the raw war cry from scraps there. Shad nice at the double kill of Rated. Morks, though, lightning strike will only take out his teammate as Nagaf and a major maniac find themselves a couple of kills to split the bill and now pushing through onto fences. Contestion, contestion, contestion as Joe finds himself a double crash boost pumped in. Bans and Zero add to the mix. And just like that, Red Reserve take over the fences with 20 seconds left. They are looking to create a gap, Miles. It's a cold night in Columbus, but things are very hot in Joe's hands right now. That's going to be 22 and 16. That's going to be the hard point still. Cracking over 150 points. Zero is now getting ready for next. He's been looking great now from down low. These flanks from the water have been ideal, but Havoc's got a little thing to toot or say about that. Ready to rock and roll with this specialist as well. Grab slam up and ready for the next hard point. Joe and Bantz picking up those entry kills. It's now going to be a life advantage. A man advantage in the... Wait a minute. Havoc only found one of that one. I was trying to say that they've got the numbers, but at this point, Genji have managed to just fall apart entirely. Scraps gets two with the lightning strike. Big stuff coming out of red now. They've managed to find this second win, finding themselves now in this hard point, and this is looking much better for them. And people talk about when Joe goes off, it's a sealed deal here for Red Reserve, and he's doing just that, 23 and 17, but a 45-point game as it stands right now. Cast your eyes to the top of your screen. Nagafen has that vision pulse. We're looking at Major Mania, the Annihilator, on the flip side, rated Annihilator. We've got zero coat close to the grassland, but that is it. A lot of specialists invested, a lot of battery going down as well, and Morks and Spacely are going to find two and give Genji a little bit of an edge here. Going on into the rocks as Maniac will be flanking around and find himself another double kill. This is the timing for Major Maniac. This is why he has the highest KD for his team across all game modes, because he's in the right place at the right time, and the shots are on indeed. Still, presence being held on to now for Genji. The next rotation has gone back to mid. We do have red reserving control for now. 185-152, Genji. Typically lose the first map in the series. So far, so good for red reserve. Morks trying to find himself out of a tough situation is going to get hit by the pinch there. We still have Red in control of the hard point. Havoc somehow staying alive by the skin of his teeth. Lovely bit of work there to maintain presence now. Can we find something from over the top? Perfect work there from Havoc. He's going to get another. That's lovely work. 5 to 5 The streaks are coming through slowly but surely. This is a strong, strong turn of events now on this third set of rotations for Genji. Havoc is on a machine. Here, four kills in a row. 154 plays 203 here. The uh, Annihilator of Major Maniac. He found one kill with it, maybe two, but it was shut down pretty, pretty quickly here. 15 seconds and miles. As we've rotated to the garage now twice, it has been Genji both times. Red Reserve don't seem phased to it, but Rated coming in from behind. Does have the available Annihilator. Zero is going to use the Grab Slam. Maybe the perfect specialist at the perfect time. Rated is going to be locking down those spawns. And with 30 points to play for right now, Red Reserve, they get ended on the garage. Red Reserve have got a big hill to climb. Now, just, just close this out. Great, finding one. He yeah, actually managed to shut down Naga Fenza, Vision Pulse as well. So Joe, once again, Joe has been an absolute superstar for me this matchup. He has done so much for his team. He's been in the right place at the right time. He's taking care of specialists, and he's actually still got streaks to work with us again. So Joe, props to him, 28 and 21, still bants. He's not looking the strongest at 17 and 23, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Red Reserve, all the pieces are gelling. Rated finding two on the outside of the map there. 
And it looks like with the final 10 points to go, Bance is going to be able to find something potentially with this. Tempest finds the first, gets his shotgun, and all they've got to do is hold on for a few more points. Can Genji get in there? Yeah, well, two are down. The Tempest is flaring. 15 points is what's left, and Red Reserve only need four of them. But look at number eight. That's going to be zero already at fences. Scraps is locking it down by the well. The map is in the control of Red Reserve, and we should be seeing these final four come in. Miles, there is no streaks available for Genji. This was a close game. One break is all they need. However, Red Reserve are going to close it out with nearly a...